Idealism versus Reality – How the Digital World Has Affected Body Image in the Natural World by Cassandra Rocco In the modern world, the emphasis on beauty and muscularity has been increased through continuous exposure to mass media and the digital world. These images are expected to be the height of physicality and represent an obtainable goal for anyone willing to put in the effort. When these images are then digitally altered beyond reality, are they truly obtainable at all? In Western culture, women are expected to be tall, ultra slim, with large breasts and a flat stomach. This physique is largely dependent on genetic factors, yet magazines and advertising still use this body image to sell weight loss and shape improvement items, leading to an increase in eating disorders. Stiles Shaw, 1994. According to Faulkner and McMurray, 2002, the ideal body image for men is tall, slim, well-built, with wide shoulders and a back that tapers to a narrow waist and hips. This physique is the most dominant image used in mass media, toys and figurines, and gaming avatars. Most gaming avatars are adjustable, allowing the gamer to program the avatar to look either more like themselves or more like the gamer's ideal form. Then they are clothed in such a way as to emphasize the ideal, with heavy shouldered armor for male characters and narrow waisted clothing for females. Peachy and Childs, 2011. Technology is used to alter images for mass media consumption beyond their already idealized beginnings. Many actors and models have some form of highlighting, smoothing or slimming computer alterations made on their photos before printing. For the purpose of this research, the definition of idealism is prioritizing physical ideals, principles, values and goals over concrete realities. Reality is defined as the unchanged physical world as seen in its most natural state. The natural world is the physical world, and the digital world is the computer-based internet world where reality is defined by the ones and zeros that construct it. Body image is a broad concept that utilizes body dissatisfaction, self-esteem, and muscle dysphoria. This research is geared towards discovering if this negative view of self-body image would be altered if the respondent was shown images of non-altered mass media or more natural looking avatars. A study using the body esteem scale would be used for its relevance to this line of research and its known reliability and validity. A sample would be obtained from a simple random sampling of Swinburne University students from various fields. Outcomes would be measured via a self-completion questionnaire taken three times, once initially to provide a baseline, once after exposure to altered mass media and idolized avatars, and once after exposure to non-altered mass media and natural looking avatars. These responses would then be coded and ran through a comparison scale to measure any variance between the three questionnaires. Informed consent is given by starting the study. Respondents will be informed of the outcomes and will have the opportunity to leave if desired. It will be conducted over a few weeks to allow any changes in the respondents' views on self-body image to return to normal before the next questionnaire. To minimise any harm, the number of images will be limited to 20. These results will allow researchers to ascertain if the negative self-body image experienced by respondents when exposed to idolised images is maintained when respondents are exposed to natural images. This could be a starting point for researching the effect of using natural images in advertising and games to decrease self-body image issues and body dissatisfaction. Here is a brief list of stated references.